हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दी बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रेप पिकोपीडिया लेट्स ट्रिक इट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस साइनोसाइडल सिग्नल एंड फेजर डायग्राम व्हाई बिकॉज इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स स्पेशली गेट इसरो डीआरडीओ बार एंड यू विल गेट द आइडिया हाउ टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन क्विकली बेस्ड ऑन साइनोसाइडल एंड फेजर एंड हाउ टू गेट द फेजर ओके नाउ दिस इज साइनोसाइड्स as you know it will complete one cycle in t time that is what it will change the phase by 2 pi so what is the rate of change of phase 2 pi by t and f is equal to 1 by t then basic idea about the quadrant guys this is called first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant and that is a anti clockwise journey and this is called clockwise journey then about the sinusoidal signal guys how we can relate it first of all when we are moving in anti clockwise direction then angle always remember the angle we have to take positive angle so this is the 0 degree this is 90 this is 180 this is 270 and this is become 360 degree if we are moving in anti clockwise direction if suppose we are moving in the clockwise direction then in a clockwise direction it will become what minus 90 degree it will become minus 180 degree it will become what minus 270 degree and this will become again zero so that is a anti uh, clockwise direction and anti clockwise direction now then trigonometric identities remember if suppose we are taking cos this zero degree as a cos then when we are giving the 90 degree minus that is lagging then it will become what sin because cos of theta minus 90 degree is sin and then when we are giving the 180 degree phase shift it will become minus cos sin of theta plus minus 180 degree is minus sin and that is already i have given here okay so this is the values now this is very very important this is called first quadrant so angle will vary from 0 to 90 degree then 90 to what 180 here 0 to what minus 90 degree and from minus 90 to minus 180 degree okay this is cos this is sin minus sin this is sin and this is minus cos what is the use simple represent this diagram in a phasor 6 cos of 50 t minus 40 degree this is a 6 what is this positive cos 50 omega t minus 40 degree minus 40 means what and clockwise so clockwise you can directly give the phasor this length will give the amplitude of the phasor or rms value of that signal or what average value so i am taking the amplitude that is the 6 minus 40 means this is cos and this is the minus 40 degree and that is what in clockwise direction so that is representation of the phasor this is called i then second question minus 4 sin of 30t this is the minus and sin where is the minus sign this is the minus sign this is cos this is sin and this is what minus cos now you can represent plus 50 degree plus 50 means what clockwise direction with respect to that so this is the plus 50 degree right and it will give the amplitude of that 4 and this is the plus 50 and that is the representation guys now you can write this is the plus 50 degree and this is what 90 degree so that is what total angle is 140 degree then you can also write like that v is equal to 4 cos of 30 t plus 140 degree directly you can from the diagram you can convert it in cos or in sin or in what minus cos then calculate the phase angle between this two so that it, this question is very very easy represent minus ca, co, 10 cos of omega t plus 50 where is the minus cos this is minus cos this is cos this is sin and this is what minus sin then this is what 50 degree anti clockwise direction with respect to that so this is the 50 degree and this is what 12 sin of omega t plus 10 degree again this is the anti clockwise because it is positive this is the only the 10 degree this is the 10 degree and this is v2 this is what v2 and this is the v1 now this angle is what 40 and this angle is what 10 degree so what is the phase difference between these two direct it is visible 50 degree only so that's why we can directly find the value here so i think this is clear to you and what is the use of this short tricks so you are on byju's exam prep the most comprehensive app for all competitive exams like the session share the link of this session guys thank you